we all mess up from time to time and um, I'm going to tell you a little thing that happened to, uh, on Saturday. Just gone. Uh, good morning and welcome to another day here on planet Earth. I am the Merry Gardener or your Merry Gardener. And uh, this is Medium Latte Extra Hot episode 130. Actually, is it eight or nine? I think it's 139. I might have to double check that. So I, uh, I made a boo-boo. I made a big F up, if you like. I turned up to one of my clients uh, on Saturday morning. And I, as the moment I arrived, you have this dreaded moment when there's a phone call. So it's nine o'clock and there's a phone call on my phone from a completely different client who doesn't normally call you. And I knew as soon as I saw that name pop up on my phone, I knew what happened. I've double booked her. She's calling me to say, where are you? And in my head, I'm like, had this urgent like flush of energy and panic and I'm like I'm ready and about to get out of my van to start this job I hear the client has probably seen me I can't leave here and go to the other one I and I've already arranged it with this one as well so I've double booked I've done a double book I know how it happened so um and she's calling me so immediately I go okay I have to answer this I have to deal with this and I have to speak to her and I have to explain to her what's happened the best way to deal with this not making excuses don't make any excuses just be honest so I answered the phone her name's Pam and I said Pam I know what's happened I said I've made a massive boo-boo it's completely my fault I forgot to put you in my diary and I'm so sorry but I have an avail, and I, I knew in my head I had a space in, uh, next week, next Saturday, and I said I've got a space for you next week. If you're okay with that, I will book you in then, and you'll be my first client, and I'll put it in my diary immediately, and I will not forget. And the reason it happened is because I forgot to put it in my diary, and I'm so so sorry. And by the end of the phone call, I had her laughing because I was just mocking myself and saying I'm a bit of an idiot, and I do apologise. And uh, because I've built up a relationship with her in terms of a client uh, relationship that I've done her job she loves my work I've been probably four or five times we always have good banter she was fine with it and she said that's absolutely fine it's no hurry I'll see you next Saturday and it was solved all in that moment um so I just want to say you you we all make f-ups it's not about the f-ups it's about how you deal with them and uh it's a lesson I learned Back in uh, when I worked at um, Cool Quick Printers, I used to be <clears throat> I used to be a graphic designer, and one of my bosses said that he said, "In business, f ups happen all the time. Uh, you have to deal with them, and you have to uh, communicate with your clients." And what he used to do, he said, if there were any f ups, he would always give them twenty five percent extra. Uh, he would fix the problem immediately. So say there was an order mess up. Sometimes there might have been a typing error, so someone's made an error on something that has been printed, and he will then reprint them ASAP, try and get them something out literally the same day or next day, and then give them an extra 25% of printing on top of that. So he's, he's, he's dealt with the problem and solved it and then given them free stuff. You don't necessarily have to do that with this, but I mean just deal with the problem and, and have a solution. And in that phone call, I had the... The, I've, I've messed up I'm sorry bam here's your solution and I'll see you next Saturday and she's fine she's all good um yeah that's pretty much it people own up to your mistakes I've I've done mistakes over the years like, over 30 years of gardening you're gonna make mistakes here and there you just gotta you just gotta own up to it like smashing windows and stuff own up to it solve the problem done move on people then know like and trust you and then it just it, it increases your credibility Ma making mistakes doesn't decrease your pe uh, credibility it is an opportunity to enhance your credibility so um owning up to mistakes and solving them um that's just an honorable thing to do and um people and your clients will love you for it um i think i met that i'm trying to remember back to a time when I just started, I hadn't done many turfing jobs. It was one of my first ones and it was a tough job. <laughs> and um, it was, he wanted it cheaply and um, he wanted it level. 
and we couldn't quite get it there within the price because it was it was too much labor so we I, we just laid it and, and there was a couple of bits where he said he wanted it redone uh, so I said let's redo it so we pulled up all the turf and we redid it to how he liked it um, <clears throat> And that was just a snooby schoolboy error, you know, and um, just a learning curve. And I just thought, okay, I value my credibility uh, more than a little bit of money. So we, we go back and we fix these problems. We take a hit, which will be a loss because that's a full day's work sorting that problem out. Uh, but we keep our credibility. Um, yeah, there we go. Guys, I want you to have a wonderful day. Um, I want you to like, subscribe, and I want you to smash the notification bell. And if any of you follow me on the socials at the moment, you may have heard I'm launching a podcast for solo gardeners. Uh, this will be the ins and outs of running a gardening business. So, And it's also for people who are thinking about running their own business or thinking about getting into gardening. There's going to be lots of insightful tips. Uh, things I wish I knew before I became a gardener. Um, there's lots of things I've learned throughout the years uh, that is really helpful and useful. Money saving stuff, um, all kinds of ins and outs. Um, follow me on the socials and uh, I'm going to be um, giving you a launch date soon so it's either going to be next week or the week after i'm just putting together all the things in place to get this podcast up and running i'm writing um some of the episodes and the key points um i'm also looking for interviews and stuff like that anyway um see you soon guys i hope you have a good day again take care bye